What's good, Aga Force? Welcome back to the Watch It with McQueen Channel. Yes, sir, we are back. How you guys feeling today, man? Today is Wednesday, man. I hope you guys are having a, bait, a great day. It's early in the morning. It's like 9 o'clock. Um, and we starting to film this video, man. You know what I'm I just got in the gym. I just got out of the gym. You know what I'm saying? I felt motivated because the endorphins is flowing. You know what I'm saying? They got the protein shake in the system. You feel me? I'm feeling good, man. I'm ready to knock out four videos. Well, that's exactly what we about to do on this new channel, okay? So, with that being said, let me go ahead and get all the preparations correct. No, they're already prepared, so um, let's go ahead and show you guys the screen. What we have here is this BK Chat London thing, man, okay? This is a video about where some thought in the UK said that she can't stand a man who earns less. I mean, I've said, I've said multiple times, Aqua Force, and in other videos, man, I really have no hope for the females of today. I really, really. And every single day, it just gets worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And it's like, a lot of the time, a lot of the, I've heard a lot in the past that it's like, oh, no, that's just y'all LA females, woo through woo that's what y'all U.S., that's the U.S. females, Woo through woo, woo all this all this bull, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking in a you know, okay, then I guess like girls in UK or the Australia or or you know, or New Zealand, wherever the wherever it may be, okay, act a little bit different. They have might have might have better manners. And honestly, and even with my experience with people, with girls that are not from here, uh, and girls that are, you know, international, even like I would say even like English girls or I mean, uh how do I say UK girls Australian girls too, bad as hell. But they don't have that same type of bougie attitude. You know what I'm saying? They're bad too. I'm saying bad. Like, you know. So to see this is insane. Um, I saw small clips of it, but we didn't watch the I didn't watch the entire thing because I wanted to get my natural reaction for y'all. So we're about to react to a segment of this podcast or whatever chat, whatever you want to call it. Where she talks about this. And I'm going to give you guys my opinion. And I want to hear what y'all opinion is too, man. So make sure you guys comment in the comment section below. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe, man. Because we are on our way up, man. This channel's moving so fast. And I appreciate you guys so much for helping me. You know what I'm saying? Because like I told you, I was bummed out uh, by leaving the old channel. But, you know, it's for a reason. God has bigger plans for us. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to see why soon. All we got to do is keep working hard. And I'm going to provide the entertainment. All I need you guys to do is do your part. Provide the likes, provide the subscribes, provide the views, man. Provide the support like you guys always have been since I started this YouTube stuff. So, yeah, man, enough of the intro. Let's see what's going on. So it's a thing where no matter what, if your man is still down and about, either you either, you either pick someone that is weak or he just he, he just cannot build or he's on your level. You may just like her. You may just like the way a man is when he's... When guys, 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 let me say, I've, I've been going... Um, um, like a fish. Yeah, I'll be going on. Okay, now there's one important thing that we're all highlighting here. In a relationship, we've made up scenarios that we don't know to be true. Now, respect is key in a relationship. Yeah. If he's okay, because at the same time, I've been out with people that earn more than me and they won't come and say, I'm paying for it. And yeah, if the girl doesn't respect you, it doesn't times? matter. I, I don't know how much. I don't know. In a relationship, because what we're talking about, what we're talking about is also a situation can change. Things can change. So it might start off me being the breadwinner yeah. and then things change. And also, uh, what I find here that's very toxic, and uh, even the girls are saying that and it hurts. I can't stand a man who earns less. You're the one saying it. And this is why it hurts. I can't stand a man that earns less. I really want to know how much she earns. I want to know what she earns. Because it's always the females that don't got nothing to bring to the tables that's talking the most. And that is so funny. It's so funny, bro. It is so funny. It really is. I want to know. What do you say? He said, what do you, what do you bring? What do you bring? You want to be a housewife. You said you want to be a housewife. I'm beautiful, of course. She said I'm beautiful, of course I have. What does that have to do with being a housewife? 
He asked you, have you ever been a housewife? Or is that what he said? He said, what? Look at her. Look at her dumb ass. <laughs> yeah, I want to be a housewife. Yeah. Have you ever been a housewife? You said, have you ever been a housewife? I'm beautiful. Are you worthy of being a housewife? What skills do you have? What skills do you have? Let me speak. Let me speak. Let me speak. Let me speak. I can't wait. I want to see what she about. She probably about to say some dumb ass stuff right now. The nigga said, what skills do you have? Are you worthy of being a housewife? And she said, yes, I'm beautiful, of course. What does that have to do with being a housewife? And how does that make you worthy? Listen, you bitches are not going to be beautiful forever. Okay, your time is ticking. I want you to understand that. Okay? Women, y'all currency is y'all looks. I don't care if it comes off shallow. It is. You guys get everything you want because of the way you look. You get your way because of the way you look. People supplicate to you because of the way you look. You get accepted into certain places because of the way you look. You became friends with certain people that are of a certain status because of the way you look. You get invited to certain places because of the way you look. Everything I just named does not come easy to us. We got to work our asses off for it, which I'm not complaining, you know. But to say (laughs) that I am worthy of being a housewife because I am beautiful, as if that is a actual, whether or not you're beautiful, okay, is besides the point. It's the it's the fact that you think I, <laughs> it's like yo, I, I'm at a loss of words. I am at a loss of words because what? How is beautiful gonna clean the crib? How is being beautiful going to be going to contribute to you taking care of the crib? How's it gonna contribute to you? You know what I'm saying? Making sure the food is cooked when I get back to the crib. How's it gonna? Contribute to you taking care of our baby. How's it going to contribute to you cleaning the goddamn crib? How's it going to contribute to you being all of what comes with being a housewife? Isn't this the same girl that just said, I can't stand a man that makes that, that earns less, but you want to be a housewife? No, to be fair, you caught me, and you said we shouldn't cut. No, she caught me, she caught me, she caught me, she caught me, so let me finish. Let me finish. No, 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 bro. Let me finish. The problem is, the problem is this. I don't want her to ah. look her in the eye and go be a housewife. I want her to be all she can be. If that Facts. means, if that means she has to earn more housewife. than her husband, I want her to be all she can be. If that hey. means, if that means she has to earn more than her husband. I See, even the gay niggas are agreeing, man. Even the gay niggas are agreeing. I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of the times, gay niggas, they always want to side with the female, you know? And it's like, even when they're not making sense, just because they're females. You know? And it's like, what is facts is facts. You know, whether it's coming from the female side or the male side. Right now, the women are not speaking facts. Not even close. Okay? So, (laughs) the fact that the gay niggas... You know, siding with the facts. I appreciate that. Because it's the truth. I just got through saying that. You want to say something as bold as, I can't, I can't, I stop the amount that earns less. But then you want to say, I want to be a housewife because I'm beautiful? Like that is actually, like as if that is a really valuable asset to something of that caliber, that, to that caliber of a job. How? That. Not even gonna bo- you know what? Just had a good workout. All right. I'm at peace. I meditated. I calmed my mind. I'm not about to let this dumbass UK thought throw off my energy. Same time, it doesn't mean anything. We're talking about how are we gonna be poor women? In general, I have no respect for any woman who believes that men need to abide by certain social constructs. Because the thing is, we believe. 
everyone to be equal. So if you believe everyone to be equal, then you should also understand that you can also be the breadwinner. Don't limit yourself. I mean, is it really, is the snake really necessary? My brother, is the snake really necessary? Like this nigga is on my shoulder. It's making me uncomfortable. to just being under some man and then don't choose to be, you know, selectively independent. You know what I mean? If you're going to be an independent woman, understand that that means sometimes you might have to be the provider and also understand that, you know, if you get with somebody that wants to look after his children and stay at home, you should appreciate that because at the end of the day, it's all about the kids. <laughs> she has a lot of interesting points in this because I've spoken to her outside of this. So let her speak. Okay, so for me, I've done international politics degree. I've got my degree. I might go back for another degree. Nobody cares! <laughs> and I'm not saying that because I'm not hearing what she said. It's the fact that I heard what she said and instantly knew it does not mean anything to us niggas. It does not mean anything. We do not care. You got a degree? Look, the fact that people are still out here getting degrees is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Unless you really, really, really love what you do and you're passionate about what you do and it requires you to get a degree to get to that what you want to do. If you are not, if, if, if you do not fall into what I just explained and you are out there still chasing a degree, you got to get it together, brother, sister, you do, okay? <laughs> if you haven't figured out that this is all a scam by this point, you need better people around you. You do. Wake up, all right? <laughs> the fact that people are still using a degree as a flex is insane because it doesn't mean anything if you are not chasing what you are actually trying to chase. And this girl's already retarded. You know, man, like, I, just based off of what she said so far, already somebody that I would never even consider listening to her opinion at all. Like the dude said, the dude with the snake said, I'm, I would never respect a woman that thinks this way. Because you're, this thought process completely just, it disqualifies, it, dis, it disqualifies you from having an opinion in anything logical. It really does. Seriously, because this is just very low IQ. <laughs> and that is just to further prove that no matter what degree you have, you can still be a dumbass. I have a bachelor's degree in internet services and cybersecurity. I never really talk about it. Why? Because it doesn't mean anything. And I got put sixty thousand dollars in debt because of it. But for me, I don't see myself working. I don't see myself getting a nine to five. I want to be. Wait, 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 Let's just wait. Let's let these dumbasses talk, okay? Let's let these bitches just get whatever they, they got to say. Let's get it off so we can sit there and just... And, but I can just tell from his, from his face, he's like, yo, what? Did she just sit there and mention a bachelor's... She just mentioned a degree, like, as if it's a flex. And she said, I might go back for another degree, like, as if we care either way. And then also follows that up with saying, I don't want to work. I don't see myself working in 9 to 5. So what did you get a degree for? Because that's what nine to fives are for. That's what degrees are for. So you can get a nine to five job. What did you go to? What, what did you get a degree for? <laughs> this bitch just got put into debt just so she can still say that I don't want to work. Yo, what is the deal? Damn. This how the UK bitches are, man. For me, I don't see myself working. I don't see myself getting a nine to five. I want to be. 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 I want to be.
want to be with a man who's a provider, mm -hmm. who will allow me to be a housewife. Mm -hmm. I want to live. A, I want to be a lady of leisure. Tell me about the birthday thing you told me, please. I want you. I wouldn't buy a man the birthday gift. No. <laughs> That's funny. I wanna buy a man if I wanna live a I wanna be a lady of leisure. Tell me about the birthday thing you told me, please. I want to be a housewife. I wanna live a I wanna be a lady of leisure. Tell me about the birthday thing you told me. I don't even my fault. I don't I don't even know if this girl really agrees with her at this point. Or this one. <laughs> they looking like uh she lost me on that one. Who will allow me to be a housewife? I wanna live a I wanna be a lady of leisure. Tell me about the birthday thing you told me. I want to be a lady of leisure. Shut up. Bitch, you're fat. You need to provide a motherfucking treadmill. You need to provide some weights. You need to have somebody provide you a personal trainer. Because I'm still trying to understand what part you are. You are. You're a pretty girl, but you are nowhere near someone who, in terms of like <laughs> this, this beautiful, the type of beautiful you're talking about. I would expect someone to look like you know. How do I? So who? Who's a? Who's like a real life bad? You would have you would have to look like Rihanna. You would have to look like someone is just really, really actually bad. Like you would have to look like that to even be talking like this for it to make even a lick of sense. I don't even think the baddest girl in the world should be talking like this. But at least with a bad, bad girl, it would make more sense. You, on the other hand, <laughs> this shit crazy. This shit is crazy. I hate to sit there and talk shit about somebody's looks, but hey, you brought it upon yourself, baby. Okay. You talk ignorance, you're going to get ignorant back. All right? I want to be a woman of leisure. But you can't stand a man that earns less. Do you know what it takes for a man to not earn less? Very, very hard work. Determination. Sleepless nights. Early mornings, days where you don't want to get up, but you do anyways because you know that's what it takes to get ahead. That's what it takes for a man to not only level up spiritually, mentally, financially, and physically. That's what it takes. And for you to sit here and be someone who is of a species that gets a lot of things handed to them because they are quote unquote pretty and to make another man feel less than because he currently may be earning less but he's working his ass off to actually get somewhere is disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. And the fact that women, she's saying this with a smile on her face. And then did she just say that she won't buy a man a present? I would have buy that's funny to you this fat ass bitch too she need to get a treadmill too man for real i'm gonna buy you a gift and it's gonna be a motherfucking treadmill it's gonna be a p90x then we gonna see what's funny you know i want to see on the look in your face when you open that gift up think it's gonna be a million dollars because you're a woman of leisure and you see it's a P90X. That's right. Get your ass in the gym, bitch. Shit ain't gonna be funny then, huh? <laughs> I, I, <laughs> Cause I'm gonna be laughing. I'm gonna be laughing. <laughs> Look at these niggas. They hot. I feel them. He has you. He has you. You're not. Wow. You know what? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. I can't. I'm sorry. You yourself. I'm. You're useless. 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 You're she is though. She is. Listen, NK, you don't have the money to be able to afford a woman like me. You need to pipe down. That was her response. <laughs> that was her response. Oh my god. Oh my god. Watch when she gets a few years older, y'all. 
and her looks start to deteriorate, you know, that's when they gonna know. That's when they gonna know. That's when all these girls gonna find out. Ladies, if you're watching this video and you even think a little bit like this woman, I suggest you get it together right now. Seriously. Put all the jokes aside. I seriously suggest you get it together and wake up right now. Because you... <laughs> You about to get slapped so hard by life, it's not even going to be funny. <laughs> it might be working right now. Believe me, it might look like it's working right now. All those sugar daddies you using to get money. All them, all them, all them niggas that supplicating to you and sucking your dick just because you got some big titties or you a fine ass girl or you whatever it may be. Just because you got a pussy, these niggas are sitting there buying you cars, paying your rent, doing all that. It looks great right now, don't it? Wait till a few of your years, a few more years when your shit start to sag a little bit. When you, when that same lazy mentality causes you to not be in the gym and you're starting to gain weight. You're starting to look fat. You're starting to look out of shape. You're not looking as pretty. You know what I'm saying? When all those niggas start finding girls that are younger at the age that you once were, they stop looking at you. That means they're going to stop paying you too. Then what? You still going to... What happens then? What happens then? I need you guys to really wake up. I, I I have strong faith that a lot of women in the Aqua Force don't think like this because if you're a fan of me, that means you're a fan of my mentality. So um, I have a strong feeling that a lot of you guys aren't like that. And I really appreciate you women out there. I'm, and I and I don't take this in, in in any any comments I say in this video. Don't take this in the wrong way. I strongly believe that there are a lot of good women out there still. It might be very 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 scarce, but I do believe that there's some out of three billion. Not. 7 billion? Is it 7 billion people on this planet? 7 billion, there's got to be some good women left. You know, it's ignorant to not think that, but if you even... It's really easy to get brainwashed, you know, especially when you're younger, by this society and the way the, the world is going nowadays. It's really, really easy to get caught up in this stupid-ass mentality that these females and these female rappers and these female influencers keep pushing on you. And I'm telling you right now, you better stop. Better stop. If you don't listen now, man, life is going to teach you. And you're going to look back one day and be like, damn, I remember I was watching that McQueen video and he told me. But I wanted to be a dumbass. <sighs> it's too late now. Are you ready? Are you ready? So, are you ready? Hi, hi, madam. Madam. Madam, madam. Are you listening, yeah? You, you, you just said, you, you just said, all right, cool. You've now done your degree. More I'm time. Not use it. No, quick, no, quick, quick question. Quick question. No, no, that's calm. That's calm. That's calm. That's calm. That's calm. That's calm. You just said you're not going to use it. I, I, I don't know your circumstance, but less than nine times out of ten, you're going to be a student debt. Cool. You, you, wait, 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 wait. You now say you want to do another degree. So you, so you really got debt. My previous paid for it. He paid for it. He paid for the degree. Minus 50k already. You now want to do another degree. Your previous boyfriend. <laughs> Your previous boyfriend is a dumbass because now he's not even with you. And you probably left him because he was tired of paying for your stupid ass. So how many times are you going to keep repeating that process until you understand that you're never going to find an actual man? Who are you going to be a housewife for? Because throughout all these years that you're sitting there doing, playing this stupid ass game, you are getting older and uglier. Because women, their currency is their looks. Men don't care about how much money you make. Any degrees you got, we don't care about that. That might be good for y'all on y'all own. But we don't give a shit about that. Unless you're a loser. Unless you're a nigga that sits there, you know, you a bum-ass nigga. But you, you're you not going to care about them. You're not going to respect those types of niggas. You're not going to want those types of niggas anyway. So, what are you going to do? I'm trying to understand, man. It's just crazy. She's not engaged. She's not engaged. Her ex paid. Her ex paid. Okay, your ex paid. Cool. Cha-cha-cha. You're, you're living happy life. Living happy life. That, that ex, whatever. However, 
However, you're now reliant on other people to, to pay, pay for to, 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 pay, pay, to, pay, to pay for your own lifestyle. Before, look, look, okay, look. Oh, it, 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 Shut up! What the fuck is she sitting there popping up like this for? You not she's not even talking to your stupid ass. Shut up! <laughs> Tell us why, 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 why? Shut up! Damn, bro, it's a lot of fat, ugly bitches in the room to sitting here and be talking like this. It's crazy. She's wild. She is wilding out. But can I say something? But why are you why are you attacking her when they're actually men willing to do that for her? Why are you attacking her? <laughs> <laughs> bro, these bitches are funny, bro. Just because a man is willing to do that does not mean that is the type of man that you want or you respect. You might think you want it because it's sexy to you because of the fact that you're not having to pay for shit. But you would have kept your last boyfriend if that was the case. You would, he would still be around. Believe me. These women are going to learn, man. They're going to learn. It's going to be ugly for them, too. Those guys have an agenda. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's compatible. Did you not say about compatibility? They're fucking compatible. They're fucking compatible. She wants to be with me, and she's one of my new tree. I like one. It's not your business. Because you don't want Shut me. up, dude. The spade, the spade. NK and J. Edwards, you do not have the facilities the facilities to look after Madame Ikra. That's why you're hating. You can never look after a woman. You guys are too broke. Maybe it's because you're young. Fair enough. I'll give you that. But don't hate on her because there are many, 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 many men who gladly look after a woman. Don't hate the game just because you can't play because you're broke. Okay. Women are hilarious, man. Any man that has a lot of money that also has any sense would never deal with a bitch like this. That's a fact. Any of those bitches. <clears throat> any nigga that is paying the, the, the niggas that she's referring to, there's so many men out there that would love to take after a woman. They love to take after. No, those are simps. They will pay you because they want pussy. First of all, you bitches, in terms of men that have a lot of money and a lot of success, you are at the bottom of the barrel. You are at the, the way y'all look, or at the bottom of the barrel. Not because, no, because not because you're black either. It's because you are just fucking ugly. You know what I'm trying to say? In terms of a high value man, you are at the bottom of the barrel. I promise. <laughs> so any man paying for your supposed lifestyle because they're not broke and they're not this, they don't care about you. They care about pussy. You know what I'm saying? Don't fall for it, because us niggas will sit there and play and tell you everything you want to hear. Even if we got the money, and even if we are simps, we will tell you everything we want to hear just to get the pussy. And niggas will give you as much, simps will give you as much money as they want, because they got it, because they want the pussy. You don't have a man because of that same dumbass process that you, thought process that you have right now. You will never have a consistent man because of that. Never. He's either going to get tired of paying for you, and he's going to go find another girl that's better than you, younger than you, okay? And you are going to constantly try to be, like he just said, be looking for other, relying on other people to pay, pay for your lifestyle. Instead of being a motherfucking grown woman and going and getting it for your goddamn self. Men may not care about Oh, how much money you make. We not, may not care about um, degrees or none of that. But one thing I know I care about as a man is a girl who isn't fucking lazy. A girl who is willing to do her part in the relationship. A girl who is not willing, who doesn't want to just sit on her ass all day and just get shit thrown at her just because she's pretty. That is sexy about a woman. That's sexy. Hey. 
That's all they can say, bro. That shit's hilarious. The girl on the left said he's right. Somebody in the room got some sense, hopefully. This girl's speaking a lot for someone who she's not no, they're not even talking to you. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Oh my god, bro. Me, please, let the woman speak. You're not her spokesperson. She was speaking for herself. Right. As a matter of fact, she has some interesting things that she has to say. I want to hear it from her mouth directly. Look, for me, yeah, I, since the start of uni, I never really wanted to use my degree. I never had any plans to use it. Obviously, I think going to uni is important. You know, get the knowledge, whatever. But I was with a guy, he already paid for the degree. I didn't, I didn't need to go. But I did. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I've never, I've never been beaten. I've never been spoken to disrespectfully. Yes, you have. Have you had the dude contract in Dubai? Huh? Have you had the dude contract? Don't, don't call me a prostitute. Don't do I'm, that. I'm sorry. I asked you a question. <laughs> <laughs> That's essentially what you are, bitch. That is essentially what you are. It is. You don't want to work. You want to be a woman of leisure, right? Right? You don't want to work. You don't want to do anything. You want to sit on your ass and you want to just get money because you're beautiful. You don't want to buy a man gifts because you're all he needs, right? You're the gift. Which means that your pussy is his gift. You're giving him pussy in return for everything that you feel like you deserve because you have a pussy, right? That's what you... And in order for him to get that, a man to get that, they have to have money like you keep talking about, right? But you're not giving anything back but pussy. One, let me emphasize that, right? Is that not the definition of a fucking prostitute? <laughs> that is by definition a prostitute. Niggas giving you money, you don't got to do nothing but give him pussy back. That's a prostitute. And that's why she's mad right now. That's what she's like. She, was, she, thought she, she thought she won the game by sitting there talking about, you don't have the money. You don't have the money. Bitch, you're a prostitute. That shit hurts her soul. Dubai, yes or no? Yeah, yeah, it's not a prostitute. I've been treated Have you had the duty contract in Dubai? Huh? Have you had the duty contract? Ha 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 
Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's literally all I can say. Wow. Oh, look, they hot. Look at that. They hot. They hot. Now they want to sit there and throw stupid names. One question, that is it, yeah? What happens now, yeah? God forbid, if your husband gets sick and he can't work? Then I have to find a new one. I have to find a new one. Oh. <laughs> Look at this nigga's face. Oh, my God. No, bro. Come back. What the fuck? Hold up. What happens now, yeah? God forbid, if your husband gets sick and he can't work. Then I have to find a new one. I have to find a new one. Look, I even her stupid ass friend sat there and was just like, wow, she really just said that. And you still continually defend her. You're continuing to defend her. You think it's funny though. You want to play it off because you want to. You want to. You you sat there and defended this dumbass the entire video. Even you. You're missing a fucking nail. You're missing a fucking nail. These are the bitches that are sitting there talking. About, I mean, you got money. I mean, this that bitch. You are missing a nail. What the fuck, bro? That's like me coming to you and acting like I'm all that, but I got a crooked hairline, nigga. I, I'm thinking I got a clean line of my shit crooked as fuck. Yo, the niggas are winning, bro. Straight up. Are you okay? She says she gonna get another one if he dies, so... Are you okay? She says she gonna get another one if he dies, so... Let me tell you something about Ikria. Yeah. She's gonna go to the hospital bed and choke her husband. She's gonna... <laughs> yeah. This is the bitch you were siding with the whole time. Yeah, don't yeah. Now they regret it. I didn't know that they sell husbands in the shop. <laughs> Just like that. What happened to his sickness and health? Till death do us apart. They put the camera on and everyone just starts talking. They just start talking. Just because your financial situation has changed. Everything finished, scatter. When did it ever become a situation where when you chose a life partner, it was based off superficial factors? Right. Seriously. That's funny. That's funny to her. Like, I'm just, I'm not attacking you or anything, but I'm just saying like, there's so much to life. Like, come on, like, like you don't set out your life and I'm just gonna sit back and like, Accept the gifts and accept the man do it. Come receiver. on, you can do stuff as well, right? I'm a good receiver. Like, you, no, but I'm just saying like a little side hustle, a little something like... You mean you are a bum. <laughs> You're a good bum. That's what you are. You're good at being a motherfucking lazy piece of shit. That's what you are. That's what you're good at. That's okay. At least you know. But don't sit there and try and like, you know, make it look pretty by saying that you're a good receiver. You're not. You receive dick for money. You're a prostitute. Okay? So not dress it up and make it look sexy because there's nothing sexy about it. You're a prostitute. That's why it hurts you so bad when that nigga essentially called you that. He didn't even directly call you a prostitute. <clears throat> you were the one who said prostitute. I would. I would have a business you as a hobby. As a hobby. Maybe eyelashes, lipstick, but nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, I would just say respect yourself. Okay, right. Like, it's crafty. Right. 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 Come on, babe. You need to respect yourself. My girl, you have a degree. Use it. Nobody. The man even paid for it. Like, come on. You can put a little bit of work in and, you know, get a job. I, I want to say this because some of you, some of you, some of you have said this. I just want to, some of you have said this. The guys here are attacking her. We're not attacking her. It's the ideology. It's the ideology. It's not, it's not, you're not saying here. 
Right, shut up. Do you, do, you know, do you know what? Do you know what? Yeah, do you know what? Before yeah, we was talking before yeah, I respected you in the sense of like that's what you wanted, and that is cool, and that's proper. Now there's there's dreams and there's reality. There's there's yeah, I respected you in the sense of like that's what you wanted, and that is cool, and that's proper. Now there's there's dreams and there's reality. My man touched on a, on a good point and that, in, in terms of like, if you give a man too much power, yeah, I'm telling you, he's not going to respect you the way it's been. Okay. Just because, just because it's paying for you, you know, it's paying for this, it's paying for that, yeah, like he said, he practically owns you. Yeah. Hey, wait, wait, and yeah, yeah, that's no problem, but is that a kind of life lifestyle? Wait, 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 wait. So did you ever really love him or are you just waiting for the circumstances? There's no love. There's no love. There's no love. There's no love. Forget There's no love. No, I'm telling you, in her situation, there's no love. In her situation, there's no love. There can't be. Right now, but I'm going to say... No, 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 no. All right, you guys, are, you guys are saying, yeah, that you're not attacking her, but number one, it's not what you're saying, it's how you're saying it. At the end of the day, I've had guys pay for my holidays and not ask me for nothing. I've had guys... Shut up. I've had guys pay for my holidays and not ask me for nothing. I've had guys take wait, 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 shush, shush, be quiet and you'll hear what I'm saying at the end of the day, yeah? Fair enough, it may be different, but it's the principle that he's spending money off of me on me and not getting nothing. No sex, no nothing. You're not getting no, nothing. No, show me, show me. Did you miss what she hey, said? That you can't look one, you can't work. Okay, but that's not what I'm talking about right now. I hear you, but I get you. Yeah, but that's what I'm talking about. If I see you, yeah? No, but if that's what she said. Yeah, these bitches are stupid. That's it. That's it. That's it. This this was this is I want if this was in person, I would have left a long time ago. Long time ago. But I'm we're just doing this because I'm providing y'all their entertainment. I don't need to listen. It's already 40 minutes of stupidity. So you know, every bitch in this room is a dumbass. It's clear as day. Um The women of today, man, sad, really sad, sad in the direction that y'all are going in, you know, hope y'all get it together, probably not going to, um, but, hey, it is what it is, man, that's it for this video, man, make sure you guys like it, make sure you guys subscribe.